And now to the plight of Haiti's orphans, long in the hearts of many Americans, especially after the earthquake. And tonight we have the story of some who now call America their home. Here's NBC's Jeff Rossi. In Kansas City today, an emotional reunion. Seven Haitian children rescued from disaster and delivered to their new American families. I'm so happy. And my little boy. <laughs> but for every happy homecoming, I'm more worried about getting There's a family the in pain. Last night, we met Mike Wilson trying to get his adopted daughter, Tia, out of Haiti. God. Today, still no luck while he waits with Tia. This is the first picture that we got of Eric. Right. So cute. Americans Duke and Lisa Scopa sit in their New York City apartment, just hoping to see their kids. They developed a close bond with this Haitian boy Erickson and four-month-old Thurlene, visiting them several times last year. They were only weeks away from a new life together. The world is coming to an end. Then came the earthquake. It was such a feeling of helplessness that we are not over there. The Scopas have confirmed Erickson and Thurlene survived, but the orphanage is quickly running out of food and supplies. We just want to get in a plane and go and get them, you know, and get them out of there. There are hundreds of American families in the same position. In fact, right now, there are 900 applications in process. U.S. officials now say they'll work to expedite adoptions. But here's the problem. The Haitian government offices holding the records may have been destroyed. This is probably going to take years to sort out all of the children involved. <laughs> Which is why happy reunions like this one today are so rare. These children were lucky. Missionaries fast-tracked emergency visas. But so many more kids must wait, along with the American families trying desperately to save them. Jeff Rawson, NBC News, New York.